I'm Nick Rubio, a senior from Harlingen High School. And I'm Charlie Vitella, a sixth grader from Gutierrez Middle School. And welcome to this special edition of Inside HCISD with several special guests from Gutierrez Middle School, the JAG News Anchors. Thank you, Charlie, for joining us today. Let's get started. Thank you for having me co-host with you. I'm interested in the sports, the arts, and the sciences. So many great programs happening at Gutierrez Middle School, so let's get started. Gutierrez Speech Drama and Debate Program is off to a great start, getting students ready for competitions and helping them build confidence. Here's Cynthia Garcia with that story. As Gutierrez Middle School makes their transition into becoming a school of the arts and sciences, many of their clubs and organizations are taking a step into the spotlight. As well as their speech, drama, and debate students, they are experiencing a new world as they are introduced into theater and many of the benefits that come with it. Speech, drama, and debate can help you when you're writing in class and also when you're speaking in front of the audience. Um, I have been in summer on stage, which um, we do plays. Um, we did Aladdin this summer. Um, also, I've been in speech, drama, and debate. I think that I having experience from before will help me a lot as I grow up and want to do it more. Some things that speech, drama, and debate participate in is like plays. So, for instance, I was in a um, I was in a Christmas play, the first Christmas play hosted here in a couple years, and I was in I was also in a skit, and it was a bullying skit to prevent bullying. Some benefits that you can get from speech, drama, and debate is your stage fright. So if you have really bad stage fright, then you can like cure that. Not cure it, but you can uh, get it to like fade away a little bit. I think it'd be good to come to um, a performing arts if you're interested in arts because there's not like there's not like a lot of schools that offer that. So if you come here or somewhere else that has performing arts, you'd be able to like do what you're interested in and be able to like go over there and be in some plays. With the upcoming changes to Gutierrez Middle School, they will continue to strive for greatness. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I'm Cynthia Garcia. The Discovery Program at Gutierrez Middle School helps students think more critically and challenge themselves. With more on that, here's Anissa Sainz. As Gutierrez Middle School starts its journey into becoming the School of Arts and Sciences, we take a deeper look into the many different programs coming in 2021, such as the Discovery Team. Here we have one of the members of the Discovery Team to help explain more. The Discovery Education Program is a multifaceted program, honestly. Um, we can incorporate technology into the classroom. It brings in different strategies to help us incorporate the technology, helps them to think critically. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful program that I've really enjoyed using in the classroom. Gutierrez Middle Schoolers are starting to think more critically now that they are a part of the Discovery Team. With a lot of the methods Ms. Bush is using in her classroom, the students are showing immense improvement on tests and assessments. The biggest skill that they can take away from being a part of the Discovery Education Program is the ability to think critically. It gets them to think beyond the surface level of the information that we're learning. When giving her lesson, Ms. Bush often turns to the Discovery Team and finds something that goes well hand in hand with what she is teaching, like small short videos that intrigue the students. This is uh, Gutierrez's first year doing this program. Myself and three other teachers were selected to pilot the program, and um, we are about to do our fourth training session next month. And I, I've loved every minute of it. I love the Discovery Innovators that come down and give us these trainings. We've done some really awesome hands-on activities. You know, we had to build a bridge out of cups and straws and um, popsicle sticks and post-its. Somehow we had to create some kind of bridge and label like all the different things. And it's hard. It really makes you have to use your brain. So I, I feel like a kid again, a student in the classroom. And I've really, really enjoyed it. But this, once again, is its first year in, in the making so that maybe in the next year we can roll out more and then we as the Discovery team can teach our colleagues the strategies we've learned. Reporting for Inside HDISD, I am Anissa Sainz. Joining us in the studio from JAG News is Ava Munoz. Hi, I'm Ava, a sixth grader from Gutierrez Middle School. Thank you for this awesome opportunity. So Ava, tell us a little bit more about yourself. I'm in sixth grade, I enjoy acting, and I'm looking forward to being in the arts program next year. 
Also, I like to play sports such as soccer, basketball, and volleyball. I'm looking forward ne to next year and all the opportunities I will get. I'm so excited to be here. Great. We are all happy to have you co-host. Shall we continue? Gutierrez Middle School has just introduced its first ever baseball team. They will be up against all other middle schools across the district. Here's Jennifer Zuniga with more on that story. Harlingen CISD began its softball and baseball programs at the middle school level this 2019-2020 school year. The ACE program launched the athletic program after a survey of Harlingen CISD students revealed a great interest in softball and baseball among middle schoolers. So baseball got started here uh, last year. They did it just with 6th grade through the um, after school program. And then when the new um, athletic director for the district came in this year, he decided to roll it out to 7th and 8th graders for um, all the Harlingen Middle Schools. So the 6th graders that did it for ACE last year will have the upper hand because they'll be 7th graders this year. So um, they'll probably be the majority of the team that uh, is playing. The one team to be the hardest to beat is um, Memorial Middle School um, because they, I know like a couple baseball players that are over there that could really play. I'm really excited for the season because um, like, I'll be able to play with my friends and the people I would know. The kids who haven't played, they should expect uh, fast, the ball to be much faster. Uh, it should be harder for them. They're not, they're not gonna know the situation like if it's a double play. I am excited for this baseball season because I'll have a fun time with my friends. Um, so the tryout process uh, won't start until April, so we're kind of just getting a feel for the kids now, mostly based on who played uh, last year through ACE. Um, but we'll just see, you know, obviously who can hit, who can field, who can pitch, just uh, the best athletes for uh, the situation. Like I said, not a lot of kids have played baseball, but the ones that got to play as sixth graders last year will obviously have the um, upper hand. We had about 100 kids sign up and we're only going to take one team of uh, 15 and it'll be mixed with 7th and 8th graders. Reporting for Inside HCISD, this is Jennifer Zuniga. I'm currently playing baseball for the Cardinals and I know it takes a lot of commitment. So kudos to all the students for playing for Gutierrez Middle School. Joining us in the studio is a third anchor from JAG News. So nice of you to join us, Juliana Garcia. I'm Juliana Garcia a sixth grader from Gutierrez Middle School. Thank you for this awesome opportunity. So Juliana, tell us a bit more about yourself. I enjoy playing sports such as soccer and basketball. I also enjoy acting, speech drama and debate, and the JAG News team. I'm looking forward to all the opportunities I will have next year at Gutierrez Middle School of Arts and Sciences. I am also very excited to be here. Great, we are all happy to have you co-host. Shall we continue? The Gutierrez Middle School Jack News team helps students get out of their comfort zone and do things like interviews, run the cameras, and be in front of the cameras, which is what I'm doing right now. Here's Kayla Atkinson with that story. At the beginning of this year, Gutierrez Middle School introduced a newscast team known as JAG News. This program allows students to highlight their campus while also getting involved in the media arts community. Students in, on JAG News, what they do is we want to kind of get them out of their comfort zone. We want to get them, get them in front of the camera, uh, be able to learn how to interview programs, uh, staff members, even other uh, incoming students from elementary schools, and to uh, get them involved in the video and media tech industry. Uh, some students excel and some students have a lot of passion in it and that's what we love to see. This program is especially helpful if students plan on pursuing the media arts in high school considering they've already had experience during their middle school years. Literally we have a lot of students wanting to join and are part of our program um, you know and, and that's the great thing is we're going to continue to have more and more uh, with our amazing MACA facility that our school district has. So we want to become that feeder campus and that, uh, or that route to take to MACA and to have these students already uh, knowing what they're going to be working on and having a, a pretty comfortable feel. Uh, we're just very uh, appreciated. Uh, we're very, we appreciate everything that you guys do for us, for our school and we appreciate the resources that we have here uh, that are provided for our, from our administration and we hope to um, just get better. Reporting for Inside HCISD, I'm Kayla Atkinson. Gutierrez Middle School is doing an awesome job getting the latest information about what's going on around school and all of you are doing a great job as well. Keep up the great work and thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having us co-host. We hope to visit again soon. 
Well, that does it for this special edition of Inside HGISD with Guterres Middle School. I'm Nick Rubio. I'm Charlie Vitala. I'm Ava Munoz. I'm Juliana Garcia. Thank you for watching and go Jags!